Many of you will know that uh, we've, in the last six years, been developing our Enough um, prayer evenings, and they've recently gone online, as you will be aware, and we've seen that grow uh, over that six years from um, fairly small beginnings to something uh, that's gathering increased momentum. And corporate prayer is one of those things that we really feel, as a family of churches, is really vital that we uh, invest in and develop a culture that uh, makes corporate prayer something that we we just do it's like the air we breathe well one of the other cultural developments i think really needs to happen within us as a family of churches is what we've what we call everyone a witness you may recall um, in the book relational mission and way of life there's seven chapters which set out seven things that I felt will become really important for us in the coming years as we as a family of churches seek to see thousands of people come to Christ, uh, see churches planted all over different nations that God gives us uh, involvement in as well as in the nations we're already in and, and have increasing global um, fruitfulness as well as seeking to be salt and light and, and, and expressing God's kindness in the society and in community where we live all around us. Those seven chapters were summing up that and one, one of those chapters was everyone a witness and basically what that chapter is just trying to say is that it's not about bringing in specialists for evangelism in the same way as it's not about bringing in specialists for prayer. It's about every one of us learning how to pray, every one of us learning even more step by step uh, how to share our faith through words and works and wonders so that more and more we become confident uh, and, and bold and have a go uh, at just sharing our faith uh, so that lots and lots of people hear, hear the good news about Jesus. So we're launching this initiative called Take a Step. Now apparently it takes about eight weeks to form or break a habit so we're going to do an eight week or an eight session habit forming Take a Step little program as everyone will witness. It won't change a culture overnight but it, it will perhaps just give us some little tools that we can get started with. Now I'm not the world's greatest evangelist, I'm really quite a shy person, I don't often find it easy to talk to people about the Lord who don't know the Lord or if I don't know that person. I mean I, I, I've got better over the years but I found the sort of sweet spots where I do have a little bit more sense of, um, I don't know, confidence perhaps, and so I'm seeking to develop those, but I'm also seeking to develop in the things that I've not been so fruitful in and say, Lord, would you help me? And, and ask the Holy, I'm asking the Holy Spirit to give me greater boldness and courage and, and, and anointing so that I'm more fruitful. So I'm in this with everybody else. I'm not an expert, but I do want to become better at witnessing. I do want to become better at sharing my faith, not because I won't feel like I've got to earn anything, but I just want to see people come to know the Lord and particularly in this season we're in with all the COVID-19 stuff, 80% of people apparently are saying that they feel heightened anxiety about life. Well, the gospel has all that everybody needs to, to, to bring healing and rest and peace from all that sort of harassed and helpless feel that, that Jesus observed when he looked at the crowds and he saw them like that and he had compassion on them and he he wanted them to know their Heavenly Father. He wanted them to be connected with God, which is why he taught them and he healed them and he did kind things to them to demonstrate God's heart. And so we want to just do what Jesus did. And he said, yeah, go into the world and the things I've been doing, you'll do. So he wants to apprentice us and to help us learn. So I want to encourage you to have a go. Now, it may be that in small groups or across some network in your church or one-to-one -one sort of if you've got a buddy or someone a friend who you can say let's do this together let's let's be accountable to each other or maybe uh, as a church you want to pick it up or maybe in your household with your your spouse or with your family there's a whole number of ways we can sort of have others around us just to help us cheer us on with this um, and so you'll find these videos coming out with very simple things tools that we can all take a step it's just that and I'm going to be having a go myself and I just want to encourage you that let's let's in the same way we got hold of corporate prayer 
And we're still going with that. And I don't think we've anywhere near finished with that. We've got to keep praying and more and more enough events are going to come up. But this, everyone a witness, I think, I, I felt in January when I had, I normally take January as a month to really try and pray and seek God for strategy over the coming years. And I, I felt him put the everyone a witness cultural aspirations really strongly on my heart for us as a family is the next thing we need to really invest in. So let's have a go together and let's see what God does and let's encourage one another. There'll be great stories and feedback come as we imagine thousands of us all doing this. It's such an encouragement then to hear stories and think, yeah, we can have a go. So are you ready for a bit of adventure? Remember our Courage Conference? That was what it was all about, just to take the next step. All right, so let's do this together.